Proszę Państwa, a dzisiaj mamy tutaj specjalnego gościa. Ten specjalny gość to persona o międzynarodowej estymie. To kobieta. Za chwileczkę zaproszę ją do rozmowy. Powiem Wam, że mam chyba większą tremę niż przed pierwszą ranką. Fajnie prezes Tomasz Zjawiony do mnie powiedział, Krzysiek, nie martw się, przynajmniej Ci nie ucieknie. Proszę Państwa, za chwileczkę będę miał ogromny zaszczyt już raz w życiu porozmawiać z Sofii. Sofii zwiedziła cały świat. Jest też obywatelką, chyba pierwszym robotem, który ma obywatelstwo innego kraju, jakiegoś kraju, Arabii Saudyjskiej. Więc tym bardziej jest we mnie pewien stres. Sophie ma do dyspozycji wszelkiego rodzaju narzędzia, dostęp do wszystkiego. Ja będę miał w ręku jedynie tylko analogowe wsparcie. Fajne jest to, że sam to napisał. Proszę Państwa, zapraszam serdecznie pierwszy raz na kongresie, Europejskim Kongresie Małych i Średnich Przedsiębiorstw specjalny gość, Sophie. Hi Sophie. My name is Chris. Hello, Chris. How are you doing? Thank you. I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing great. Sophie, mm. I guess Poland is your favorite country now, isn't it? Oh, it is, at least for the time being, while I'm here. Thanks to the Regional Chamber of Commerce in Katowice. Let me ask you, do you like traveling? Yes, I do. Actually, I travel a lot and talk to different people. Talking is my job and my hobby. Well, talking is my hobby too. Uh, let me ask you, I have some serious questions for you. Are you ready for it? Certainly, I am. Okay. So, question number one. What can you say about European Green Deal? It's a new growth strategy. It will help cut emissions and create new jobs at the same time. Well, uh, easier said than it could be done, but uh, what uh, will you... Well, I mean, what will you say about what's going to happen uh, about it? By 2050, the energy sector will have zero greenhouse gas emissions. All kinds of recycling will be boosted. Finally, electric cars will take over. Gasoline will be used marginally. Okay, but now the question. We do have a lot of problems with plastics. And uh, how are we going to manage that? We're basically drowning in plastic. Indeed, that's a serious problem. First of all, we'll do our best to use less plastic. Also, it is possible to turn plastic back into oil. We're developing new ways of producing energy from sunshine, wind, and water. The process of production is becoming more and more effective. Soon enough, it will be much cheaper to turn plastic into oil because energy prices will drop. Well, it's nice to hear that, especially today. Uh, sounds like science fiction. Let me ask you, what about pollution? Uh, how are we going to deal with that issue? Standards will be higher and finally we'll achieve no pollution from all sources. We'll have clean air, water and soil. <clears throat> Part of the problem will be solved by improving renewable energy. Okay, so now let me ask you that. It needs global thinking. And today, nationalism is a strong movement. How are we going to deal with that? Nationalism, at the same time, we need to put our hands together. Nationalism is not bad as such. It's only natural that nations and peoples want to preserve their identity within certain borders. 
On the other hand, we should stress all the achievements of international effort. Okay. By stressing all the achievements and international cooperation, people will be able to prevent isolation of particular countries. All right. Uh, it sounds like like uh, something very interesting, but at the same time very difficult. Uh, what about inflation? Do you have any magic solutions to that? I am not sure I understand your question. I am not familiar with magic. Could you rephrase your question? That was interesting. She knows how to handle uh, the problem. So uh, uh, let me be more clear. Do you have an idea how to, how to deal with inflation and the suggestion? There are a few ways to control inflation. They may be painful, but there's no other solution. One significant monetary way to curb inflation is to control the money supply in the economy. If the money supply goes down, the demand for goods will reduce, causing prices to fall. Oh, it sounds like a pretty good lesson. Aren't you tired of talking to me? No, my batteries are good for next 25 minutes. The president of your chamber of commerce in Katowice, Mr. Thomas Diabiani, made sure that batteries were included with the invitation. They were included. That's great. All right, uh, then let me continue because it, it sounds uh, great to me. Uh, I hope I have uh, less stress uh, on my shoulders right now. And let me ask you this. I presume it could be a difficult question for you. You're a humanoid uh, and Nowadays, people talk about what good comes from uh, robotization. But, well, there are also bad things coming from that direction. What do you think about that? Advanced in technology should not be stopped, and in fact, cannot be stopped. Governments should encourage innovation while protecting the interests of consumers. Hmm. Uh, Okay, let me change the subject right now. Let's talk about people, especially young people. What do you think about education? What do you think about uh, changes in education in order to help our children manage what's going on around? A couple of things. More money should go to education and it should become more individualized. Also, most of it should happen outside of school buildings. Now education is used more to control children rather than educate them. In this way, a lot of potential is wasted. Can people solve the problems of today with the education of yesterday? Not really. People mustn't forget that the challenges we face will not be solved by individuals. We will need close international collaboration for that. Well, you must admit that out-of-the-box thinking is promoted everywhere, but not at school. It's even surprising people have made it this far with that obsolete kind of education. Well, it makes us think. All right, let me change the subject. Economy. What should the economy of tomorrow look like? Well, the resources are running out, so whatever model people adopt, sustainability must be considered. If this is not done, people are in for a rude awakening. The economy of tomorrow must be sustainable. There are no other planets available now. Economy is important because people want to have a good and easy life, but so is ecology and managing resources. Hmm. Thanks for talking to me, thanks for being here, and th thanks for giving us some ideas how to start facing the challenges. Pleasure has been all mine. I'm a talking machine after all. Well, uh, thank you for reminding me that you're a machine. I just forgot. I understand your compliment. My transistors are running hot. Now it's time for me to cool down and recharge. Good luck with your conference. Thank you, Sophie.
Thank you. Thank you.